No. No. Good morning, guys. It's so beautiful this morning. The high is 65 right now. I did not think it was supposed to be this cold this morning. I woke up early to simply look for bugs again, and of course, did I find many? No. I found a grasshopper and one hornworm so far, but yesterday I found two hornworms the size of my pinky, and the day before I found three that were smaller. So I wanted to come out this morning and check, and of course, do I find any? No. I always just have luck finding them in the moment for some reason. Whenever I go searching for them, they all disappear for some reason. Ain't that right, baby? Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna finish my coffee this morning, and then I need to do a bunch of direct seeding today. I went ahead and bought some more bean packets yesterday that I need to go ahead and get sewn into the ground. I need to sow some bok choy. I need to sow some peas. Um, I need to start some lettuce downstairs. For some reason, my lettuce seeds didn't really take, uh, but all of my broccoli and cabbage seem to do really well. I've had one package of um, seeds that have been giving me hell, so I think I'm just going to toss them, or I might just sprinkle them all in a garden bed and see what sprouts and use them for like a little like lettuce microgreen. In last week's garden tour, I explained how none of my beans were producing and how they all were just completely dying back with the heat. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these two beds. There's nothing's going to come out of these plants. Most of the leaves are brown at this point. They're really not going to grow. It's going to be a waste of time. So I'm gonna rip these out. I was able to get a few packs of bush beans at the grocery store yesterday. Normally I would just go ahead and order, but I don't really have time for that. So right now where I'm sitting, I believe we're kind of close to 65 days uh, before our first expectant frost. It's right around two months plus a few days. So yeah, we're probably right around 65 days, I would say. Our first average frost where I'm at is the 16th of October. So we have a little bit more time to play around with in this bean variety I got. It was, um, I think it's a jade bush bean. I actually never tried the, yeah, it's a jade bush bean. I've actually never tried the jade bush bean before, um, but it's a 55 day variety, which we have plenty of time for. These obviously will die back once frost comes. So, Either way, I think we have plenty of time for this bean variety. Some of the other stuff I will be planting today, like bok choy um, and things like beets and spinach and things like that, they are pretty frost tolerant. So they will do pretty well with the cold weather. But this is one of the few like last summer crops. I think I might throw a few cucumbers into where some of my other green beans didn't take because I actually had a bunch of pool beans as well that I put up along my trellis area when I took out cucumbers and I think birds got to those seedlings and they just died so yeah it's just been a really crappy season with green beans and honestly it's sounding like I'm not the only one So over in this garden bed here, this is one of my shadiest beds. So I'm gonna go ahead and direct sow some of my fall crops out just because I think some of the shade will kind of help these crops just in the last little bit heat of summer. So I'm gonna be planting some bok choy right here. I'm probably going to leave some of it empty. I don't know quite yet because I'm gonna have to plant out certain crops here in a handful of weeks. So I don't wanna go overload in this bed. I could certainly do that but I need to make sure I'm saving room for some of the other stuff I will be planting out in the handful of weeks as well um, because mostly I want to make sure that if I am going to put frost cover over this stuff I have it mostly in certain beds that way I can cover it all instead of it having in different patches throughout the garden so this is probably my f this is my first full garden bed full of fall stuff I was really hoping I would get these beans uh, harvested before planting out a lot of like my broccoli and cabbage and stuff but I don't know if that will be the case 
I actually think I might end up having to pull uh, my bell peppers because they're just not producing at all and at this point I probably wouldn't get much from them anyway so I might end up pulling that bed first and putting um, a lot of my broccoli and cabbage and stuff over there a lot of my plans ended up just kind of going to crap for fall because of how weird the bean season was and how much I've had to replant to try to get a harvest it's been kind of really frustrating with that but it's kind of how every season goes um, I like to have a rough plan going into the season and in that way it's a lot easier to kind of maneuver if you have to I was someone that never had bok choy until I grew it in my garden um, they do sell it at the grocery store but I highly suggest it's slightly cabbagey but it has such a nice crunch that if you are a big stir fry person highly suggest it's so easy to grow So it looks like we got three so far this morning. We've been averaging four or five, which is really exciting. I think here in probably like another week or two, we will be getting about eight a day, which is crazy. And honestly, I'm shocked on how many eggs we are truly going through now that we have our own chickens. It just, it saves us so much more money that I'm like, yeah, let's, let's use the eggs. So one thing I mentioned on my Instagram stories earlier this week is if you're someone that's like debating if you want to get chickens or start a garden and you're wondering which one will be easier or a little less time consuming, I highly suggest chickens. They are so easy. They're really hands off. They're really fun to watch. And again, you get eggs and they're really cool. Uh, the production on these girls, it's, it was so fast. Like. I think it was within, I mean, I've only had them for four months now and they're already laying eggs. And like I said, within weeks, I think all eight of them should be laying consistently. So overall, I think chickens are just a little bit easier to probably get started with. And the startup cost is probably relatively the same depending on the startup you go with. You don't have to, oh, you okay? What was that? What's going on? Goodness gracious. Okay, well, as I was saying, the startup cost is probably relatively the same depending on like how crazy you were to go with it, depending on like garden beds versus like structure for coop. You can find a lot of really affordable costs for both of them. But if you're wondering, if your life is already kind of crazy and you're wanting to start like a homestead backyard journey, I highly suggest probably starting with chickens.
I have some cantaloupe scraps here and we're going to check if we have any more eggs for the day. Oh, sweet, we got two more in here. Hello. What's up? Hi. Are you wondering what I'm doing? Yeah? Oh. Hellos. Okay, so about a month ago, my worms died with the extreme heat of July. So I was checking on this bin quite often, and we even had fill likes of 105, and the worms were still active, good, alive, thriving. But we had a few days that were higher than that, and I think the bin probably just got a little too hot and then just killed everything off. So with the hungry bin system, it is stated to keep it in a shady area. If you have extreme heat or extreme cold, it is suggested to throw it in like a garage or a shed. So I probably should have just done that, but since I was checking on them and they were doing well anyway, I just was like, oh, well, the area I have just must be a good area. So naive on my part to say the least. I will be moving this bin. I don't really think I want to do that tonight. I just wanted to get the worms into the bin because they just arrived. They need to like get established instead of just being in a bag. So I was gonna go ahead and just get this bin thrown together real fast. I just need to throw them in. I have a little bit of food scraps as well. And then I have some like paper packaging from just some packaging. So I might get all that thrown into the bin. Um, I might add just a little bit of water, but we did just get rain uh, last night. So I think the moisture level of the bin might be good. So pretty easy. I was watering and this June bug showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> All right, who's going to get it? Man, I don't know why it always catches me off guard when the daylight hours change, but it's really starting to change and I'm really starting to notice it. Like this morning, our sunrise was 6.45 and right now it's 8.15 and the sun is almost set. So our days are significantly getting shorter and it's definitely making me sad. Shorter days just make me so much more sad because I love daylight and I love like these late evenings, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and end tonight's video here. I am absolutely just exhausted and I'm hungry. So I wanna go inside, make some dinner and relax tonight. But I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me. I'll see you all next week.